Hey friends, I'm back, your history guru bringing you more updates on multimedia history. In our previous series, we spoke about how things all started with ancient cave painting and clay tablets. In this edition, we talk about the inventions of the telegram or telegraph if you please. For those who didn't know, a telegram is a communication sent over a telegraph. A telegraph, on the other hand, is a machine which is used for transmitting messages in the form of electrical impulses, which can be converted into data. In English, it means, thank you Lord for modern technology and the person who invented the keyboard. Amen. There are many types of telegraphs, telegram systems, such as the electronic and non-electronic system. The non-electronic telegraph was invented by Claude Sharp in 1794. The multiplex telegraph, optical telegram, and the crow telegraph which was invented by Samuel Summerin in 1809. Telex telegraphing machines and various other types of upgrade to telegram and telegraph usage. In 1825, British inventor William Strogen revealed an invention that laid the foundation for a large-scale evolution in electronic communication. That was when the electromagnetic was born. It was used to help upgrade the telegraph by providing a long-distance feature. Sturgeon, though he died 25 years ago, displayed the power of the electromagnet by filing 9 pounds with a 7-ounce piece of iron wrapped with wires, through which the current of a single-cell battery was sent. However, the true power of the electromagnet was its role in the creation of countless inventions to come. Three telegraph systems emerged based on the electromagnet in 1830, and American Joseph Henry demonstrated the potential of William Sturgeon electromagnet for long distance communication by sending an electronic current over one mile of wire to activate an electromagnet, which caused a bell to strike. This is like those electricians talking Chinese, French, and Italian all in one. Whoa! Still have my history though. But I think it's time to wrap things up. I've got to make some history soup. <laughs> Be sure to join us next Wednesday for some more insights on this day in multimedia history. Brought to you by Nat Johnson Multimedia. Au revoir!